about a city, a wonderful city, obviously, that is the capital of the Piedmont region and uh, that is about one hour away from the Alps and the Ligurian coast. We have about one million inhabitants and the metropolitan area is about two million and a half. And uh, we are both industrial cities, so uh, we have a very important developed industry in the aerospace, biomedical, automotive side, and we uh, changed our nature so that we are also very attractive from the touristic point of view. It's very difficult to define in only one way what is a smart city. So I agree that one single definition is uh, impossible to give. And I also think that there is, it can't exist one single model that works for every city. I mean, every city has its own community that has its own differences, has its own potential, and has its own characteristics. So one smart city can't work all over. What we are working on as, a, as for my municipality is uh, on Torino as a city lab. So um, we actually uh, are bu building a business model that sees the mayor, so in, <laughs> it's me obviously, as a leader in the project. And we built in, our, um, in the city hall a team where uh, we are helping out all the stakeholders so that they find a partner in the community, which is in this case the, 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 the mayor and its team. And we're trying to create a partnership such that we create an environment. So, uh, what we think that makes a difference and helps out today mayors be able to uh, get the challenges of how quick innovation is and building projects that are not uh, too slow because obviously the risk is that we put investments, we do an investment and that technology is old when we start using it for the, uh, for the community. What we're doing is we're trying to build an environment where people can come in, privates, test technology, test services based on what is innovation doing. So for example, thanks to this project, Torino is the first city in Italy where we started to experiment the 5G network and we started working on Internet of Things. Torino is the first city where we are starting now the implementation of self-driving vehicles. Why are we doing this? Because we think that a smart city is a city where there is high quality of life, where obviously you have a transportation service that is efficient, but it's also a city where people feel that they're partners of a development program that is based on innovation. So if partners, private partners, feel that the mayor and the community is their partner and is at their side, we together build and produce a new service. If that service that is tested in our city works, then what we do is that with our platforms that we developed and with the city team of analysis of data, together we make that service become something that we can give constantly to our uh, population. So uh, I think that today the big, big uh, thing that we have to do is make understand people, let understand people that the mayor and the administration is a partner that creates the environment and that is a facilitator in creating the environment. The three, three key success factors in our project that we're building are transparency, so that relationship is, the relationship that we build, everybody knows about it. Opening, so opening, the fact that we have data that we can give out and help companies use that data to build the right product and test the right product, which is a service, because we're talking about administration. And quick execution. We have to be quick in giving execution to the project, otherwise it's old. And so when we develop it, it's old. Um, so today, the big uh, issue that we have as policymakers is how can we use innovation and data to decide which are the policies. For example, we are the first city that is using the cell phones, so the, move, the how telephones are, uh, move around the city, to define the pattern and the second line of the metropolitan, so the, sub, the, the metropolitan line that we will build. It is an investment of about 1.5 million euros. What we're doing with a company, we are studying how people move through cell phones, and on that demand and the potential demand, we will build the infrastructure. So it's to conclude, it's very difficult to have one single model. We are competing among cities also in Italy, but the challenge that we have is to understand how a policymaker can use data to choose the right thing, how we can use data and innovation to find and build partnerships, and how we can be sure that we build an environment that is attractive for companies, because what we do is uh, attract funds, create employment, develop competences, and improve the city. Because if you do this, then you will have an effect on the quality of life. Thank you, Ms. Pindino.